Good morning everyone and welcome to another video by Faith Impressions by Carrie Salee for Gel Press. Today we're going to be trying something that I've never tried before and I thought it would just be fun. Um, I was wandering through the through the aisles of Walmart um, and I came across these um, um, alcohol ink markers. Um, they were like 10 bucks so I thought it would be kind of fun to play with them because I know I love using like the Rangers uh, liquid alcohol inks on my plates so I thought it would be fun to try something new and different. So today we're going to play with these um, on our Faith Impressions plates um, and I'm actually going to show you two different ways that you can use it so you can kind of see what we're going to be doing today. So grab your coffee, grab your snack and I will see you guys in the studio. Have a great day. All right, creative friends, just like I said in our intro, we are going to be playing with some alcohol ink markers. And this is just a little set that I found at Walmart, actually. I was just wandering through and saw them. I think it was like 10 bucks for 12 colors in one blender. Um, I don't know a lot about alcohol inks and that kind of stuff, so I'm kind of just playing with it. Uh, and I just kind of got to, you know, let's try some stuff. And um, we're going to try to duplicate this one because this has been my favorite um, kind of version of playing so far. Um, I tried it a couple other ways. So this is through a stencil, just kind of coloring, which is kind of fun. And then this is through a bigger stencil with outlining in the black. And so I like the way the black made it pop. And so, you know, I was just kind of playing, goofing off, seeing what we can do. So we're going to try in a perfect world to duplicate this little guy right here. Um, and what I like about using these is it's just kind of gives you that fun of just being loose and just doodling and that kind of stuff. But then it gives you the permanency that when you do transfer it into your Bible, you can add those extra layers and that kind of stuff and not have to worry about it coming up or messing up in your Bible. Because if you mess up on this, well then just wipe it off and start again. So um, we're going to be using the chisel edge on this one. It's just called Red Nine. Is that like love potion number nine? I don't know. Um, so we're literally just going to make some little doodles on here, some little doodle flowers. I know Miss Sally, our, um, our queen of gel press, is um, also the resident global whatever queen of all things Copic. She has some kind of super duper schmancy certification. So she does all sorts of amazing things with this. Um, since I'm a noob, we're just going to play and have some fun. Um, so that was red 9. This one's red 10. So, you know. Um, again, going to keep with that chisel tip. And again, I'm not super creative with this just yet. But, you know, baby steps. I just thought this was a fun technique for something new and different. Just a new way to use alcohol inks. Um, and this little set was just a, you know, just a, a fun little price just to kind of get started. And I'm just adding just some extra color. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I'm trying to redo that one, so we'll see. If I can get my, there it goes. Um, and then we're going to take our green, green six to be exact. I don't know which side to chisel this one. And we're going to add some leaves. Leaves, 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 leaves. Leaves. And you can tell I'm not trying to do anything super duper realistic, nothing super duper fancy. I'm just keeping it very loose, very kind of free form. I'm going to grab this purple. What's this purple? Purple 16, and it's a really, really dark purple. I really like it. Really. So we're going to act like this little flower is kind of coming off the side here. Kind of fill it in. Do, 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 do. I'm sure there's some fabulous ways to make some fabulous flowers with this. And as I kind of play, hopefully I'll kind of figure out some new and different ways to use these. But again, we're just starting off something kind of simple and fun and kind of easily accessible to all of us who aren't fancy Copic people just yet. Maybe one day we'll be fancy Copic people. Maybe. So you can see I'm kind of just making some squiggles and then filling it in. 
So you can kind of see where I'm at right now. And then I'm just going to go back in with this, um, this kind of lighter green, green one. Um, and I'm going to use the bullet tip on this one. And I'm just going to use it just to kind of add some, some extra squiggles. And really I'm not going again for anything realistic. I'm just going for texture in the middle of my leaves. So just some fun, funky little texture. And just to kind of give it a little oomph, I'm going to take this orange four, so it's kind of a light orange, and I'm going to use a chisel edge. And I'm just going to add kind of almost just like a little bit of a glow. It's not going to be super noticeable once we add the color on top, but just as something to make it like stand out and pop just a smidge. So nothing super specific, super fancy, just to kind of give just another range of color here. And then we're going to use the yellow to just blend that out just a little so it's not such a harsh line. And it won't be a harsh line anyway once we add that other stuff, but you know. We're playing, we're learning, we're just learning together. Um, and one thing I loved about when I did this one is I got this really great kind of bold graphic kind of print and that's by taking just the black with the bullet point. And we're not gonna go for like color book style lines. We're just gonna go for just some kind of draggy, sketchy kind of lines. And we're not, because obviously I don't know why this looks kind of Hawaiian-y. I don't really know, but it kind of worked for me. Do... We're not even going to connect them necessarily. We're just kind of... And they don't even have to... You see this one's kind of around the letter, or the letter, Ooh, the leaf. It doesn't have to be uber specific. We're going to add some in the middle just to add some oomph and some details. Add some lines through here. And for our leaves, I want to kind of keep them kind of squiggly um, just because it adds, you know, it kind of is kind of opposite our leaves because our leaves are very rounded and smooth. So I want our leaves to kind of just be zigzaggy and funky. So you can kind of see where we're at with this. So I'm going to hold it up so you can kind of see. It kind of looks like stained glass. La! stretchy stained glass. All right, I'm gonna move those out of the way. So if you've done any of our other alcoholic tutorials, you know that it would normally be at this point that we would always say use a light colored um, paint. And obviously we still agree with that. Um, so I could use white, but just to kind of add a little visual interest, I'm gonna use this color that's called Minted Aqua. Just a little bit different and um, just a little fun. So we're gonna just add, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot because we still wanna be able to see our alcohol ink through it. What we're wanting to do is that alcohol ink has made a skin kind of on top of our plate. And our goal, I'm gonna add just a smidge more, um, is to basically give that alcohol ink something else to stick to other than our plate. That's what makes our plate so great is that you can do stuff on it but then it doesn't want to stay there. It always wants to be able to kind of pop up and stick to whatever surface you have instead of the plate. So I'm going to scoot this over for just a second and then move my Bible in here. And you can see I've done it over here and I'll tell you about that one in just a second. So I've actually not pre-done just so this page, which I know is shock and awe because that's not normal for me. But what's great is we use such little paint and the alcohol ink is already dry, so we're not going to have to worry about bleed through or any of that kind of stuff. I have a thing that I usually put this on, but somewhere at some point I have misplaced it in my studio and I can't find it. So normally this would be easier. All right. So you can kind of see my design through it, which is pretty cool. So one thing I did notice with using these, and I don't know if it's the brand or if it's using the concentratedness in the markers, um, I did find normally with the regular alcohol inks, you put it on, smooth it over, peel it off. I did notice that I did prefer to kind of let it marinate on there just for a couple extra seconds, a couple extra pats, um, so that it comes off a little bit easier. I don't know, again, I don't know if it's the marker thing or if it's the, I just don't know, peoples. All right, so then we're just gonna take this 
We're gonna hold, I'm gonna flip this so it's a little easier to see the reveal. Like I said, it comes across a little bit easier if we give it some, some love here. Can you see, Ooh, I kind of like the yellow background. It's kind of funky, a little different. And you see just a little bits of that blue kind of popping through here and there. So you can see we've got just some funkiness. So this side, you can see, has a lot more texture to it. So this side I pre-gessoed with my clear gesso like I normally would. Um, and because of the brush lines and that kind of stuff, you get this kind of more, I guess, distressed, I guess, vintage -y kind of vibe. Whereas if you do it straight on the page, um, you don't. And you can see that we don't have to worry about any bleed through because our ink is dry and we use such very little paint, there's no warping or any of that kind of stuff. Yay! So you can see two versions using the exact same technique, just once on a pre gessoed page. So it has a little bit more texture, a little more grunginess. Um, and in this one, actually, it's a little different too because I did that yellow background just for fun, just to see what it would look like. So I'm gonna finish these up off camera and um, add some, I don't know, some doodles, some stickers, I don't know, we'll see some titles. And then I will put those at the end of this video. I hope you will give this a try and just, you know, always explore, always be trying new ways to use your Faith Impressions plate in your Bible and in other fabulous places. So until next time, have a great day.